That's quite a place. Crane down there. Look how high that thing goes up. Way up there. So this crane. Okay, no matter where you go, on whatever street you go on, it's wall to wall people. There's an intersection. Wall to wall people, and no matter where you go. All these beautiful paintings. All of these pictures. He was a prostitute. And look at her. Boy. On the Baptist here. Okay. This is Michelangelo. Never finished. Tapestry. To Adam. Uh -huh. Adam eats the apple. So then they can't be naked anymore. See, then they put the leaves on. Then they put the leaves on. Okay. Going road. Yeah. Look at that statue in there, huh? Oh, that, there's a nice one. Yeah, he's a biggie. Yeah. There's another unfinished work. It's a very impressive statue. Very impressive. Look at the detail on it. Look at the hair. Yeah, all the hair. All the way down. Even do that whole thing. Michelangelo. What a special one. Look at that. And his arm. Look at the vein in his arm. Right down into his hand. This guy was something. Very impressive. The colors. The magnificent. Of the colors in this painting. I can't stand back far enough, so I just have to do it this way. Artistry in this museum is really something. Huh? Fantastic detail. Oh boy. And of course your artistry. Quite a place in here. Got them all over. Hasn't fully developed yet. If you notice. <laughs> Back to this artistry here. Oh man. Something such detail. Detailed artistry. That's really a detail. Like the there's a goose, and there's babies coming out of eggs. Well, what do you know about that? Now, what that's supposed to represent, I don't know. <laughs> well, I never seen anything like that before. Babies being hatched. Oh, how about that? <laughs> how about that? Huh? <laughs> kind of neat. Well, there's a maiden. Looks like she's scared to death. And I guess some guys are tan. They sure don't let it go to waste around here. He was every bit of it. This is really something. Here's another tunnel going through. Oh, that's it. You wouldn't think so. There is a lot of farmland around here. She sure as hell wouldn't think so. But there is. And a lot of construction. <laughs> sections here that, that look similar to this here and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all so I'll just take this one and then all the other ones I'll just let go by but there's several of them in here like this right here St. Francis now I'm going to show you a little bit more all by himself and look at the inside of it and then the outside of it this is really something. And look at over in there. Oh, my church. This is really fantastic. I gotta sit down because I gotta. Oh, man. Monastery overlooking the valley. Right? Quite a valley. 
You can see everything from this is quite a place. Whatever, St. Francis something. Monastery. But it's like a little city here. So I assume that's what it was. Because we just walked by a whole lot of shopping area. Up on the hill. Whew. Walked a long way up here. This is the entrance of St. Francis. This is really something. Kind of cute looking. I don't know what you want to call this. There seems to be an awful lot of places for people to live around here, so this must have been the area where they lived. They were up high and looked down on the enemy. And this is secured up in here. Well, look at it. It looks like a little town. All the way up. And cars, of course. Oh, Assisi. Fun anyhow. <laughs> Even it kills me. Well, let's see what else you have ahead of you. Oh, we got another hill yet going up. Oh, Willie. Oh, boy. I'll make it one way or the other. All the way up to the top there. Yeah, That's where you're going to make it. Okay. And there's a car coming behind me. Yep. And if I don't move over, he's going to run me over, right? Right. Here he is. He's coming. Walking up the hill, or whatever. And look what we're coming into some kind of a square. Boy, look at that old building there. Look at that. This town was started in 12 something. 1200 and something. That's when this town was started. And look at this. Old Roman structure. Whatever. It's all Roman. Well, we're in the Camoli. This is quite a fortress. And that's what this all is. People lived here, keep from getting uh, killed by the barbarians, I guess, or whatever. What a way they lived here a thousand years ago. This place was built back in the 12th century. And it sure looks like it. And we're going down. We're kind of late, so we're hurrying up. I'm going to shut this off so I can trot up a little bit. It's really something. Up in there, huh? Isn't that nice? Up on the hill there. Big. Well, here we are in Rome. And I'm looking out my hotel window. And this is what you see. Look at this here. <laughs> so the Forum and the Markets of Trajan, built in the second century by the Syrian architect Apollodorus of Damascus. That is when the empire was at its apogee. That's uh, his. Uh, Victory is the Dacians, the present Romanians. There are 2,500 figures sculptured in a spiral band around the column, marble band, commemorating this. His body, after some months, was uh, transferred to uh, Florence, where he was buried in Santa Croce. But his first burial place was the Church of the Holy Apostles here in Roma, behind those buildings. And here we reach the center of the city, Piazza Venezia, of the Piemonte and Sardinia, men like uh, Garibaldi, Cavour, indirectly Mazzini, made the political uh, unity of Italy and uh, of that square. In the fourth century, at the uh, death of Augustus, 14 after Christ, that is the beginning of the empire, and the fourth is Roma at its apogee. Early second century, 117 AD, time of uh, Trajan, the population of Roma then is about 1 million inhabitants. The population of the Roman Empire is uh, uh, about 60 million people. And that is, according to uh, modern statistics, about one fourth. <laughs> yes, the Colosseum in front of us. Now we are stopping there. See how the Colosseum is in a valley. Look at him. Oh, on boy. three of the seven hills. Again, on the right, you see the Arch of Triumph of uh, Constantine built to commemorate Constant 